what, what's your um, what's your footprint in America? With my last record, I was very. It was like you know quite eagerly anticipated over here, and I was all looking really good, and I had like all the big TVs and um, everything's kind of sorted, and and then there was a problem with my visa, so I couldn't come over here and do all the promo that I needed to do, and I had to cancel the whole tour. Um, so that kind of put a bit a spanner in the works a little bit, um, but then again, you know if that hadn't happened, I might not have met Sam. But I might be slightly more famous, a bit more richer here. Yeah. Wow. Things aren't really that important. <laughs> I'm happy with what I have, really. You know, I like just playing Glastonbury and <laughs> writing my songs and putting them out there. If it works, it works. No, I'm not, I don't. I've, I've got pretty much everything that I want, so I don't. I just like to keep that. I don't. <laughs> So is this why we came to LA? What, to do this bit? Yeah. Yes. Um, just because we wanted it to be um, right. like a sort of contradiction in imagery, you know? So there's obviously the whole sort of British regal theme thing happening, but then kind of against a sort of quite obviously foreign backdrop, you know? <laughs> it's top sense. <laughs> Lol. What you and Amy were saying about the whole style, the certain gaudiness to certain <clears throat> things. Yeah. LA is the place for that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Good uh, morning. morning. with nails no I cannot explain that it seems like you can just come up with any kind of crazy frivolous idea and is it relatively cheap to do no <laughs> that's almost the fun of it time is the most valuable resource and it takes sh you can't drop your hands off unfortunately which is the dream and um, is the sort of uh, impermanence of them important so if you get it wrong well, it doesn't matter because next week or the next day you've got new ones yeah but it's important to get it right <laughs> yeah we don't get it wrong <clears throat> no well it's also like it's a way of expressing yourself that you can't do with anything else like you as much as you want to glue dollar bills to your face you can't really get yeah, away that's, with it that's... so self-expression without tattoos are permanent nails is like you know you can feature them or you can hide them you know and uh, this Naomi, she's rather good, right? She's the best in the world. Really? Yeah. You, you, would, you, would, we, you would stay there? We flew her in from New York. So lovely working with you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Uh, understand the importance of nails. <laughs> One thing I just noticed then, there was quite a disparity today between the absolute intricacy of those nails and then the interior decoration of this house. <laughs> <laughs> that house is so disgusting. You've got dolphins around your floor. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Who built something like this? It's like who has that in their house? I'm so confused about what just happened. It was enjoyable. I had a really nice time, but I'm really excited about going home. I miss my kids a lot. Can you just recount through what's what you've achieved today and what you've won and what's happening tomorrow? Um, well, we've done a song to finish the song today um, called You Are El Bear Man. I'm glad that we extended the trip for that extra day because I don't think we would have got it if if I hadn't, and um, you know, the photo shoot went really, really well. Got all the shots that we wanted, and, and now I'm going home for Ethel's birthday.
and chartings today. Oh uh, yeah, I'm number one and number nine in the, in the top ten. Wow. <laughs> yes, that's nice to be flying back into. Queen and, of the charts. And you had an In-N-Out burger. And I had an In-N-Out burger. So you're going home happy? I am. Very happy. Mm -hmm.